channel. I am Kaylin. My husband is Robert and this is our beautiful baby Magnolia. She was born early. She was born at 28 weeks and 5 days and spent 69 days in the NICU. So we are so happy to have her home and happy and healthy. Are you happy to be home and happy and healthy? Are you happy? Are you healthy? Yes ma'am. So probably one of the number one questions we get asked about Magnolia um it, yeah are you gonna tell them what it is are you gonna tell them is what is that goose egg on her face so if you guys can see um robert will probably insert a picture or something because we're kind of far away, away from the camera but she has a giant bump over her eye over her right eye yeah you do and probably one of our top questions is did she fall did she bump it did you drop her all those things. No, we did not drop her and she did not bump her head on anything. It is a hemangioma. Actually, I'm gonna look up what hemangioma means because I normally just say blood tumor, but I am going to look it up and let's see what the actual definition of hemangioma is. Hemangioma, a birthmark often appearing as a rubbery, bright red nodule of extra blood vessels. There you go, hemangioma. It says it resolves within months. Um, I think it's usually years, it takes a few years. Usually self-treatable, usually self-diagnosable, um, lab tests or imaging rarely required. So that just tells you what it is. A hemangioma is a birthmark that grows during the first year of life and fades over time. It can appear on the face, scalp, chest, or back. That is what a hemangioma is and she has a few of them this is just the one that's most noticeable um because it's right on her face she also has a little one on top of it so her hemangioma the big bump is actually under the skin um that's why it's not red except for that little tiny part right there um but it's all under her skin she also has two on her side one on her belly one on her back she had one on her foot which is almost gone and she has one in her mouth now, when you are born with that many hemangiomas, actually, I take that back. Because she was born so early, usually you are born with them and they kind of show themselves, they kind of like grow from there. Uh, but because she was born early, hers actually didn't show up till she was three months old, which was about the time she was a newborn. And the first one was actually this one on her eye. Not the big one, just a little small red dot. But when she was three months, we noticed a little kind of ball, like a ball under the skin right around that dot. And it has just grown since then. But because she has so many, she did have to have an MRI done of her stomach and her eye to see, to check out her liver because a lot of times if you have a few, if you have like five or more hemangiomas, it's because you have hemangiomas of the liver. So we had to have hers checked out. She's getting tired. You're getting sleepy, huh? So we had to have it looked at through an MRI, or actually through an ultrasound first. Then we did an MRI because we weren't able to get a good image. And turns out she does have them of the liver. It doesn't do anything to her liver. They do go away on their own. They're just there. So she is actually on medication for it, not because she needs it to make it go away because like they will go away on their own, but because we don't want this one on her eye to get bigger because we do not want it to obstruct her vision. Um, if it obstructs, obstructs her vision, it can cause permanent blindness um, especially with her, like, with this age, if the eye gets covered, even if it gets uncovered, the brain, the signals to the brain never got developed. So you can have vision loss. So we don't want that to happen. So we have to keep an eye on it to make sure it's not hanging over her eye at all. Um, and that it's staying the size that it is and it's not growing. So she is on a medicine called propranolol, or I think it's also hemangiol, I think is another name for it. Um, but it is a beta blocker, and so she does have to go to the doctor once a month to have the dosage checked. 
when she was first starting to go, they had to take her blood pressure before, and then they, we had to give her her medicine, and then 30 minutes later, they had to check her blood pressure again, because it can make their blood pressure drop. She has shown that she can handle it, so now we just change it depending on her weight. So she is currently on three milliliters of propranolol every morning and every night. Yeah, you are. And it seems to really be helping. So, yeah. So that is all about her eye. And if you guys have any other questions, I think that's all I can think of to tell you about. But if you have any other questions, definitely leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them the best that I can. We thank you guys so much for joining our channel and for following us along on our journey. Yes. And we hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already. And also, if you have any other questions about her humane geoma, definitely leave them in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Say bye! Bye guys.